So I'm going to give you a pretty out of the ordinary answer because I like to break the rules. I like to <laughs> not be the norm and not be a cookie cutter person. Um, I do many things. Uh, there's not one business that I can describe to you um, for this one interview. So what I can summarize is that I am my own business and all my businesses is really about my personality, me, and uh, how I care so much for people, uh, beings, to speak better. And of course, people who also want to become speakers speak better. I care very much about words. So, you know, in business, uh, business is really about production, distribution, and sell of goods or services for a profit you're not going to get to the place that you know that you can really be uh, like a like a caterpillar turning into a beautiful butterfly right um, so I am also a TV um, a movie production producer and financier and uh, most of my time I spend with my children <laughs> so that's a little bit about me yeah so for me there were times when you know I'm not always I'm most of the time quite happy and optimistic like you see me now but there are days when I'm doing the dishes I still have to clean the floors because we, we were not allowing people to come into our houses that was challenging but in terms of business and my career it made it so much more efficient easier and more efficient um, but there are times obviously with the children we have four children uh, that made it a little bit more difficult but I feel like looking back in the time of the pandemic and we're still kind of at the end of it um, I see it as happy and good rather than and the connection I have with people is what makes my business but if I really had to give you words about my business I do um, help people in speaking I help a lot of uh, royalties as well as high ultra net worth so in my business what makes me profit is my investing I love investing I love to inspire women especially in becoming something that they cannot even imagine uh, by investing because if you work time for money how have you gone from strength to to strength since COVID, during COVID, and now? You know, COVID has actually been a real blessing because uh, I already work from home uh, and to have my children at home 24 seven uh, was an extra challenge for me and I love challenges because we were connecting on Zoom, online, on Skype or different uh, platforms. And I was able to meet probably 10 times more people on the computer than flying here, flying there, doing this networking and driving here, driving there. So it was just, oh, it was such a depressing time or bad. You know, I see it as a positive. I wanted to ask you, in terms of assisting people with their speaking, why is speaking so important and the way you present yourself so important, and especially in today's community? Yes, a great question. At the end of the day, we are all human beings. And we cannot stop ourselves from judging people or making meaning out of what we see or what we hear or what we feel, right? So when we meet somebody, uh, the first impression is everything. And I know from my experience that sometimes when you meet somebody and you're not at the level that you want to be or secure or uh, feeling confident on yourself, you're not, people will sense that. People will know that. But when you are at the place where you feel confident and you're out and you're ready to go and you just want to give joy and want to contribute to other people's lives, people will sense a different energy. So when you speak, the intonation, the volume, the pace, and even the exact words that you choose is extremely important in how you uh, conduct your conversation and of course what you wear how you feel like today I honestly made an effort to dress up because I'm here on holiday but today I'm here on an, an, an interview so I respect this environment I respect you I respect the people around so I made an effort to be more outside of my normal uh, vacation element I came back in as a as a CEO <laughs> because of the magazine. And so um, it's about switching your mindset into locking it into that personality or the, the, the role that you play. And then the words will come out and the way you carry yourself will come out to be the way that you would want it to be. Yeah. So it's not only about speaking, how you present yourself, it seems that it's also mindset. Is that something that you teach as well? Mindset and energy. So how do you actually lift your energy up and sustain it so that you can always be 
authentic to you and you don't have to put it on. Like I'm not putting it on. If you ask a thousand people who have interviewed me, you will always get this Didi Wong because that's just who I am. And the more authentic you are when you speak to someone without thinking too much or being insecure in your mind or am I, am I okay, am I speaking okay, you know, all of that goes out the door and you can be who you are and that's when you connect with the person. Is that also how Didi Wong invests? Also in investment opportunities that are authentic, that have that energy, and also, I guess, investing in for a better tomorrow? I will say, Vanessa, you are very intuitive because the fact that you asked me that question right after what I just said, it, it shows you're really listening to me. This is very important. When you speak, you want the person to be listening, right? When they listen, they ask the right questions. Like, so I feel like turning what I just said into the world of finance and investments is absolutely correct. I first work with my intuit intuity, um, intuition, sorry, that's the noun. So in Thinking Grow Rich, which is a business Bible, and I went on a speaking tour, right? Um, the principle number 13 is the sixth sense. So I operate with my sixth sense first, because I don't say yes to all interviews. Like, I don't say yes to everyone who asks me to do an interview. It's got to be something I connect with. Then it will be authentic. Then number two would be, do I like the person? Do I care to be around that person? If I like that person, I like the value or, or their value or the, our say, uh, same philosophies or same mindset, then it would be a second check mark. Yes. Then it goes into what do you do and what, do you, what is the product or the service that you're, you're trying to pitch me on to become an investor. Because I always believe that products, you can, you can always make better a product. You can always improve a service, but you cannot change a person. Right? A person is going to be that way, so you better like them if you're investing in their company. So yes, uh, intuition comes very much uh, in the top of the line when it comes to my in investment choices. Yeah. And based on what you just shared with us, what advice will you be sharing with our attending investors at this Dubai conference? Well, my, my whole thing is about being human. Like my, my motto per se, right, is like, don't come to any event as your title. I care very much for you and your heart. So probably I'm a bit different from most business uh, people. You know, you go in there and you put on a persona, but I want to go in there to find a new friend. I find a new friend first, and we will probably talk about family, life, how do we love Dubai, and things that's happening, Expo, definitely things that are not straight into the topic of what are you trying to get me to invest in? You know, what, what, what is your product or your, what is your business? I will probably like to connect with people first as a human. And then if you love the human, then you're okay, what do you do? And you love what they do more because you love them, right? So um, I think on this summit, uh, first of all, I am so already all inspired by the summit and all the preparation that has been coming through with email. Um, it's, I will say it's probably one of the most organized events I have ever uh, attended. Just sh by the sheer uh, communication, because I care so much <laughs> for communication, right? It's, it's so important, the efficiency, the thoroughness, the detail-orientated uh, emails, um, and respect. I feel so loved by you all already. And I don't even know you, you don't even know me really, right? Um, so that really comes across for sure before I even step foot into the summit. And now that we are in the first day, uh, I can't wait to meet the people because I really believe that Sir Anthony Ritosa and the Ritosa uh, family office must want to surround themselves with high vibration people. And that is perhaps why God has kind of put me in this place this time. And it was a smooth sailing ride all the way to Dubai. And when it's like that, it means it's meant to happen and that I'm in the right path. And then just going back to that uh, terminology of hum uh, humanity and human, is that your key success factor that maybe you would like to share to other investors as maybe 
a good way of investing or partnering with other companies or other people? Yes. Uh, I say hu being human and the humanity um, of just understanding people and knowing what you love and how you connect with other people first is for and foremost is the most important because obviously we have a, a whole panel of different people here um, doing different invest investments as well as looking for different investors so I will always say if your intuition guides you and somehow you are really enjoying a conversation with somebody then you go into knowing what they do and then you're like wow I could either learn from it or uh, you know teach them about it some more like it could it's both ways relationships are always both ways right you either learn from it and that's where I like to be I like to be the learning one I like to always improve myself and be a student of the universe so when I look for investments I look for investments that I actually probably don't know much about because I want to learn more about a different industry especially now with cryptocurrency and all of the different coins and it's a whole new world for me so I would love to be inspired to learn about this future that we are going to be stepping into and um, if I find someone who can teach me whom I like <laughs> and as a human <laughs> then it will be that much more fun and I always say in life you must have fun and enjoy every moment. Mm -hmm.